B Monster Laboratory here. Today we're going to take a really quick look at the Arduino Audio Hacker and DJ Shield by Nootropic Design. Well, I've played around with these shields for a while now. I seem fairly familiar with them. So let's begin. Well, the past couple days I've been playing around with this and I've had a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to show you today my speaker setup. I have it connected to an old soundbar, which can be pretty loud. It's a nice setup, I think. And I'm going to show you where to download the Audio Hacker library. And I'll show you the number of code examples that it comes with that you can just run that example code on your board. And we'll take a look at one of those examples, the real-time voice changer. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, first things first, let's take a look at the boards that you will need. Or the boards that I'm using. I'm using the Arduino Uno and the Audio Hacker, obviously. That's a picture of the Audio Hacker. And the DJ Shield, which you don't really need, but I would suggest because it's it just makes makes this whole thing easier and you don't want to forget your 3.5 millimeter mail to mail audio cable I have two of those and you'll want at least two so why would somebody want to purchase an audio hacker well you can record audio samples and play them back well that's pretty cool not only that but you can mix samples create effects and make new sounds by programming them in the Arduino IDE and they give you a whole slew of examples that you can use and tweak on your own and inspire you to create other projects and there's no SD card needed because it uses a 256k static RAM for recording and playback which means it's going to be a little bit faster in response than the SD card and also you can record up to 33 seconds now that does depend on the resolution of the recording if you're recording at 8-bit resolution you can record up to 33 seconds if you're recording on 12-bit resolution you can record up to about 22 seconds. The first 10 seconds is going to be high quality and really good. After that, the quality starts to diminish and you start to pick up a lot of background noise. I've noticed that if you're recording music, you don't really pick up on that background noise, so it's okay to record longer segments. But if you're recording a speech or something like that with no background noise, you probably want to keep it right around 10 seconds so that it's higher quality recording. And you can use a 3-volt battery backup in case you uh, disconnect power to the board it will retain the samples that you have otherwise it will dump all the samples so it doesn't hold that in memory so the three volt backup option is there if you need it now you can use this on the arduino uno the mega the leonardo or the duo milanov or whatever i don't know what that one is but you can use it on those four now you can buy this as a kit or buy it already assembled. I bought it assembled because I didn't want to turn it into a soldering project because there's plenty here to solder. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the components on the board. You will see uh, two 3.5 millimeter audio jacks. One is an input, one is an output. The input you'll connect to your MP3 player, a microphone, or your computer, and the output you're going to connect to your speakers or your headphones just as an example. Now here is the bypass switch. In order to bypass the components on the board and get the normal sound of the song or the audio, you just switch that right. Otherwise, keep that switch to the left. Now here's the volume button. Honestly, I haven't bothered the volume button, but if the volume is too low, you just turn it up there. Now here's where you put your three volt uh, backup battery uh, to retain your audio samples if you disconnect power. Now here are two input buttons, uh, S1 and S2. I don't use these because I have the DJ Shield, and uh, but these two are available on the Audio Hacker board. Now here's the preamp gain. If you're getting a weak signal from a keyboard or guitar or whatever you have connected, and you want to increase that, you just turn that with a with a screwdriver. Here is the DJ Shield and it comes with five buttons connected to digital pins two through six and three potentiometers and uh, two LEDs down here and they're connected to analog pin four and five and you can upgrade these knobs from plastic the red plastic ones to the aluminum ones I got the aluminum ones just because they're shiny <laughs> and you can buy this as a kit or buy it assembled I bought it assembled in case you're wondering, all output from the Audio Hacker is mono, not stereo, and that has to do with the processing speed of the signal. 
Now this is my audio hacker that's mounted on my Arduino Uno and you can see right here that it doesn't connect. The header pins do not connect flush which kind of annoys me and it's like that on both sides. Now if you decide to connect your audio hacker board to your Arduino Mega you're going to need to solder a 6 pin ICSP header on the bottom right of the board and you can buy that at the Nootropic website which I've put here on the screen. You can also get that on Amazon or eBay. Now here is the DJ Shield and it comes to these buttons that have a really nice click to them. They are they're actually kind of fun to push but the quality is really good. I'm impressed and they did a really good job soldering so I am happy that I bought it already assembled. The DJ Shield fits very nicely on the Audio Hacker uh, easier than the Audio Hacker on the Uno board and you just make sure those are flush with uh, the headers on both sides and that's what it looks like. And here is what my connection looks like. I'm going to take my 3.5 millimeter audio cable and plug one end here and then I'll plug this end either into the electric microphone that I have that I'm using now or into the computer. Right now I'm going to plug it into the computer. The other 3.5 millimeter audio cable coming out of the output on the audio hacker will be connected to the back of my sound bar here, as you can see. Now I'll go ahead and power my board with the USB cable coming from my computer. So I'll plug that in here and I'll turn it around make sure that it is connected and I have a green light. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my soundbar to an extension cord here and then turn it on. So here is my setup. I have the output connected to the speakers and the input connected to my computer. And you'll see that right here. And then the Uno and the Audio Hacker is powered by the USB which is plugged into the computer. And I wanted to include this because it wasn't clear to me where exactly they put the plugs. Now that you have it all set up, you're ready to go into your Arduino IDE and upload one of the example codes. But first we need to install, download the library. And we go to github.com slash nootropic design slash audio hacker. And once you get there, you go to code and go down here and download zip file. You'll download it right here and you'll want to take that and put it in your Arduino folder so that you can open it up in your library manager in Arduino IDE. So now that we've downloaded the library zip file and put it in our Arduino uh, folder on our computer, we want to go into Arduino IDE, go up here to sketch, come down to include library, add zip library, and Here's my Arduino file, and there is my zip file with the uh, audio hacker. And then I want to click open. And now I have the library and the examples. Just click file, go here to examples, scroll down here to audio hacker, and then I will go to real time voice changer. So here we go, the real-time voice changer example code, and we have the Audio Hacker library. So you go ahead and click upload, and upload it to your board. So with the output connected to the soundbar and the input connected to the headphone jack of my computer, I can play video from my computer and have it come out the speakers right here. Let's try it. Now I can speak directly into the microphone and have my voice altered in the speakers by unplugging the input from the computer and plugging it directly into my microphone. Hello, this is connected to the mic. This is connected to the mic. If you want to record your voice changer directly onto your computer, for instance, I'm using Adobe Premiere, you connect your input audio jack to your microphone. And then there's my input right there. Then you want to unplug your output from the speakers. Unplug it from the speakers. 
and plug it into I'm plugging it into the microphone jack of the computer. So I just click the microphone on track two in Premiere, and I can record directly from the microphone to a Premiere and a recording, and I can adjust the sound of my voice to whatever I need it to be, whether it's here or whatever I need it to be. Anymore. But uh, that's that's how you do it. I just wanted to show you some of the examples that you can do with the Audio Hacker. There's a whole bunch of different things. Uh, there's audio sampler mix, there's drum machine, dynamic sample rate, echo effect, filter, looper. Um, you got uh, mix sampler 12 bit, and then down here you've got sampler 12 and 8 bit. Uh, there's the real time voice changer, which we looked at today, and uh, real time reverse, that's pretty cool. And then, uh, so well, I'll do some videos if you're interested on some of these other uh, things here. There's so much you can do here. I think there's potential for a lot of really interesting projects. That's all I've got for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click subscribe. Be sure to click that bell notification button as well. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you again very soon.